In Creel Parametric, you can perform model-based definition or MBD. And one of the tools that comes with model-based definition is something called semantic query. And semantic query allows you to find out the related references and entities to your 3D annotations and also the related references and annotations to geometry in your model. Let's take a look at this. Okay, there are two different ways that you can access Semantic Query. The first way is from the Annotate tab. I'll click on that. And over on the right side of the ribbon, here we have the Semantic Query command. This was added in Creo Parametric 4.0. Here I have a toolbar that opens up with six different choices. Right now, everything is grayed out because I haven't selected anything. Let's start off by selecting our geometric tolerance over here, and it automatically selects the second choice in the toolbar to display the primary references. And I find this is the one that I use the most. If we take a look at this geometric tolerance, it's got its related geometry, and that's geometry that was added inside of the geometric tolerance as references. I showed how to do this in another video, but you'll also notice that it highlights the datum feature symbols for C and then A and B over here because those are called out by the geometric tolerance. Let's take a look at some of the other different options in the toolbar. I'm going to turn off the selection for display primary references. So right now, only the geometric tolerance itself is highlighted. Let's now take a look at the first choice in here. And if I hover my mouse over that button, I get a tooltip that says that this will display similar annotations. And when I click on that, you'll notice that a whole bunch of other different things highlight. What this is doing is that it's highlighting the annotations describing the references of the selected annotation. So in other words, we have this particular annotation that I started out with, then you go to its references, and all the ones that are highlighted over here are different annotations that describe the references of this particular geometric tolerance. The third button over here sort of does the opposite. Let me turn this one off and then go to this one over here. So this button over here, if I highlight it, it's going to display the secondary references. The button to the left of it highlights the primary references, but this one highlights the secondary references. And the secondary references are the references of annotations associated with the selected annotation. So again, this one is selected, so it calls out A, B, and C, and here are the different annotations that are related to that selected annotation because they help qualify A, B, and C. And so now it's highlighting the geometry, these surfaces over here, that are the references of the annotations associated with the selected annotation. I know that's a mouthful, sounds really confusing, but again, what I primarily use and what you'll probably primarily use is the second button over here to highlight the primary references. All right, let's take a look at some of the other buttons in here. I'm gonna turn off the primary references and then go to the fourth button over here, and this one will display associated datum symbols. Let's click on it. And hey, this one calls out A, B, and C as the primary, secondary, and tertiary references. So they get highlighted in here as well. Let's take a look at another one. For example, if I select this one over here that just calls out A and B, well, with this fourth button selected, we're only getting A and B highlighted inside of here. All right, the next button over, this one will display the associated datum reference frame. So I will turn off the fourth button and highlight the fifth button. And right now it's highlighting a datum reference frame located in the left corner over here. Let's go back to this particular geometric tolerance. When I select that and with this button selected, hey, it's highlighting the datum reference frame located over here. The last button over here is grayed out because this one will display the geometric tolerances associated with the selected entity. Well, I've got a geometric tolerance selected. Let's change the selection to 
this datum feature symbol and then change over to the last option. Hey, so now it's highlighting any geometric tolerances that call out the C datum feature symbol. So again, those are the different buttons over here. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention when you use this one over here, uh, as well, let me turn off everything. Uh, this one also will highlight besides datum feature symbols, it'll also highlight any related datum targets as well. So again, that's the little toolbar that you have over here. Again, what you'll probably primarily use is displaying the primary references as well as displaying associated datum symbols. All right, let's take a look at a, another way of doing this. Let's right mouse click and hold and choose clear so that nothing is selected. I'm going to select this particular surface over here and you'll see what gets highlighted inside of here. Everything that has some relation to this particular surface over here. This surface is used to define C. So you'll notice that it highlights the geometric tolerances that deal with C, also highlights a bunch of different dimensions that have references to this particular surface. When you select geometry, you'll notice that all the buttons in the toolbar over here are grayed out. All right. So I mentioned earlier that there are two different ways of getting into Semantic Query. I showed the first way, which is by invoking the command from the Annotate tab. Again, that opens up the toolbar, and then you can select what you want to select. For example, select this over here. It's highlighting primary references. Let's go out of there. The other way that you can invoke this is by selecting an annotation and then using the right mouse button. So for example, I'll select this annotation over here and in the mini toolbar, here we have the command for semantic query. I click on that. Hey, it is highlighting the references associated with that geometric tolerance and it brings open the toolbar so you can change what you want to see highlighted. All right, let's close out of there and Another thing to show you in here, let me go to one of my combination states where we are not seeing all the various different 3D annotations associated with this. And I'm going to select this geometric tolerance over here. Then we can, oh yeah, get to semantic query over here. And I'm going to change this from displaying the primary references to this first button over here, which again is going to show the different annotations that describe the references of this particular geometric tolerance. And you'll see that it highlights a few other, uh, this other dimension over here, which doesn't appear in this particular combination state. Hey, if I hold down the right mouse button, it allows me to add all these highlighted annotations to this particular combination state if they didn't appear in it before. In this case, it would add this particular basic dimension for 60.9 to the combination state. So that's another option that you have in here. So that is how you can use semantic query in order to highlight cross highlight the references between your 3D annotations and your geometry and vice versa. And one thing to note, this sort of like cross highlighting, this is something that is required uh, from the ASME Y1441 standard. I haven't read the ISO standard, but I believe that the ISO standard requires that as well, where you're able to select a particular entity, and then it's going to highlight the different references. And this is especially important when you are exporting your technical data package, whether you're using the native Creo parametric file or you're using a step AP242 format, these different semantic annotations have to support this cross highlighting so that when you pick on one thing, it is going to show you the related annotations or pick on geometry and it's going to show you the different related references. Very important part of model based definition. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, 
please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.